All right, let's get started on this waistband. We are working on this project here. I have decided to use the skirt as it is rather than flare it out. And also I am using view C for the top. So the skirt has been, we've already done the skirt. Um, it looks like a box right now because I need to cinch it in by putting a waistband on it. Um, but this is the back and the back does have darts for shaping. So that's good. Right now we're in the process then of cutting out the waistband, which needed to be adjusted because um, of my measurements. So I'm I am cutting this out right now using my Guggenheim scissors. If you can get some, I would encourage you to. They cut so good. Okay, so let me put my glasses on. I can see what I'm doing. Let's get this cut out. I am a cut on the right side type of person. I don't know if anybody else realizes um, how they actually tend to cut fabric out, but I tend to cut with the pattern to my right. So I'm getting a good cut with these scissors. They were a little costly, but if I had to rank them, I would rank them right up there with um, my, what are my other scissors called? My, with my, either my rotary cutter or, which the blade um, oftentimes needs to be replaced, or my gingers, um, which I can't find right now. But anyway, I'm loving these scissors. They're new to me, but I am loving them. They have a lot of weight in the um, in the hand where you put your hands. So they give you a lot more stability, give you a really nice cut. Um, it's easy to stay focused on how you're cutting snip, line up with where you snipped and snip again. So these are like, I'm learning to love them. Um, like I do my Ginger scissors. All right, so I've got the waistband cut out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and prepare this for installation on the waistline of the skirt. I'm going to snip my markings here. That's very important. Okay. Okay, when you need to make an adjustment to your waistband, be sure to adjust where your markings are for the casing. So the instructions on the skirt, say with right sides together, stitch seams of casing leaving an opening in the left side seam so these are the markings for the casing on size 14 16 18 20 and 22 and so what i'm having to do is for the larger size i need to make sure that i adjust where these two markings go and they go 5 8 of an inch away from the edge here. So where's my ruler? All right, so I'm marking where these casing uh, markings are. So I'm just drawing myself a line here so that I know where to actually put my, my dots. All right, and it's on the 5 eighths inch mark here so this is where I need to do this this is my 5 eighths of an inch line and so my circle my dot is going to go right here and right here and that is where I need to make the dart on my fabric so I know where to stop sewing
All right, so I'm just going to mark that right here on the front and on the back. Can't see what I'm doing, but on the front and on the back. I will show it to you in just a moment. Okay. So that adjustment is made. Those are the only adjustments. That's the last adjustment that I need to make on this skirt and with this waistband. And so here are the right there and on this side. So this is my um, where I'm going to stop sewing according to the instructions when I sew the, the casing together right here those are the dots that represent that so I'm only going to sew my, my casing together here on 5 8 here completely and on this side I'm going to stitch to this dot and then I'm going to cut my threads and stitch from this dot to the end and we are ready to sew. My walking foot.
So on this side, because I did not want to bunch up my fabric, I'm going to go ahead and finish this seam to the edge on the opposite side so that it doesn't get caught up in um, my, my material doesn't get all bunched up. Okay, so then we're going to sew the other end just straight across on a 5 8 of an inch seam. Your noise in the background, I've got... Uh, family members upstairs and I've got the YouTube channel playing in my office on a cooking show. All right, so here we go. Again, I'm going to start inside the seam. I'm going to start inside the seam here away from that edge right there because what happens typically is your fabric can get caught in the feed dogs and then it's just a mess and then you get frustrated and so to eliminate all of that i'm just going to start away from that edge when i finish i'll turn it over and finish it off on the other side see it's already stuck up under that Sew off this edge. I'm going to go back, turn it over, and sew off this other edge. So let me find my starting point. So I've got a clean stitch to this edge and this edge here. All right, 
so the instructions say to turn it. Press your seams open, so I'm going to go do that. And then we're going to fold the casing in half this way, lengthwise with wrong sides together. So we'll be folding this together like this all the way around. Make sure your notches are matching here all the way around. And then we're going to baste the raw edges together. So again, you're going to fold the inside of your waistline together, wrong sides together. So that it looks like this. Mine is pretty big. <laughs> So that it looks like this, make sure your notches are matching here. And then we're going to baste it all the way around the open edge. Alright, so we've got our waistband um, basted together. And when I apply it to the um, skirt opening, the this part with the casing opening needs to be showing out. So let's get that done.
That's it. We've got our waistband attached to our skirt. And we're going to go ahead and sew it around on a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Our casing with the elastic uh, hole is right here. That's going to be on the inside, not on the outside. Our waistband is attached. I'm going to trim the seam down to reduce some bulk, especially in these areas here where I've joined seams and add the elastic and I'll show you where we're at when that's done. I'm going to continue trimming off the excess salvage here all the way around about to a quarter of an inch or so so I'll be doing that I'll show you where we're at after we have added the elastic all right so we've got the seam trimmed down all right so we're adding the elastic Go ahead and add it all the way around. Got quite a bit to add. And I started it out here on this side, but I pinned the end here so that it wouldn't accidentally slip through. So that's what I'll be working on. All right, so we've got our elastic end all the way around, and I'm going to hem stitch this opening right here. Put a hem in it, and I'll show you what it looks like on the mannequin.
I'm just picking up a little bit on the inside seam. See how it's closing up real nicely. I don't usually hand stitch, but um, sometimes I have to. And in this case, I do. So we are just going to continue this and um, put the hem in this beauty. Put her on the mannequin, and I'll show you what we've got. And then we'll be working on the top. Um, on the next video okay I'm gonna go ahead and finish this hem off um, by hand rather than machine so I'm just doing a blind stitch here on the hemline I've got uh, the red color that's the same color so it might be a little difficult to see but on this side you can't see anything which I think is what I want since um, I'm working with a knit I don't want a lot of stitches showing so i'm going to go ahead and finish that off uh, i've got three more sections to do and on the next video i will show you the final outcome with a couple of details added to this skirt and a plan for one pattern three skirts see you next time